welcome back to the good the bad with cat i am cat and this is part two of the ulta new makeup that we did that we started last week when we filmed the last bit of new makeup i had i actually went back to ulta today and spent a little bit more money so we've got a few extra things to add in here i'm so excited it kind of gave me a whole look minus foundation and eyebrows so those i'll do off camera but anyway i wanted to talk first i just put some um primer on i love my nyx pro fix stick in i think this is in pink and i always use it under my eyes to lighten up my eyes well one of the ones i wanted and it's been sold out forever is just the plain old concealer and this is an alabaster and so i thought let's go ahead i was picking my face you should not pick your face but i was you can see i was picking this pimple so you can see all the big pimples i was picking before I started. So let's start. I really love the consistency of that concealer. I love that it's a stick. Oh, let's talk about this. This was the most expensive brush. I'm not a brush, very expensive brush buyer. So this is the REM Beauty. This is the concealer brush and it was 22 freaking dollars. But let's try. I can't believe it's been $22 on a concealer. Let's see, so I'm gonna use that. I mean, you guys know I use my fingers, so for $22. But what I'm liking, what I want it for is for under the eye after I do my makeup. I think it'll be really nice to be able to go in and yeah, kind of clean up. So, huh. I'm not sure what I think. And you guys know this is my generic Ilios. It's not even Ilios, it's just my generic, but I lost the, um, I lost the back, so I hit the batteries won't stay in it. So now it's just a nice mirror, but I'm not gonna lie, I think this might be my favorite mirror. You guys see me use a lot. Okay, so I don't hate the brush. I'm not sure it was worth $22. We'll find out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna find out when we do post makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and put my foundation on. I'm gonna use my Il Maquillage. I haven't used this in a hot minute. I'm hoping it's still good, it's, I mean it is. I haven't bought this in a, this is definitely a year plus. I still, I am a very big fan of this this foundation, um, but I'm gonna be honest, it's like 36 or $38, and I think if you can match yourself, it's excellent, it's probably gonna be too light for me, because it was it's more of my winter shade. Yep, but I love this formula, I think it gives great coverage, I think, it just, it always did melt in my face well. I thought it gave me, like I said, great coverage. It's way too white, so we're gonna have to, which is good, because we got some new bronzers. Um, so we're gonna have to darken up my face other ways, maybe put a little bit more. So with this foundation, I'm gonna tell you right now, my, what I consider to be, unless this has sunscreen in it, and it might, my equivalent, so I don't wanna say dupe, but my equivalent is the Revlon Color Stay. It just is. I think they, you know, I was spending 36 bucks on it. And I think I was buying it like every two months when I before I really started to get into makeup, like where I own a lot of makeup, you know, and that was my go-to. And um, I will tell you, it's great coverage. Just look at that. So good. Anyway, let me do my well, let me finish my sentence. Sorry. So I would say this is excellent foundation. But for the same, for a lot less money, if you try the Revlon Color Stay, you'll be very happy. I, in my opinion, they're they're very equal. So I bought these. This is Makeup Revolution Bright Light Bronzing Drops, multi-use drops, scorched light medium. It has squalene, hyaluronic acid, and grapeseed oil. So I just thought, let's try it. You know, we tried the Drunk Elephant and the Elf. This is not an illuminator is his bronzing drops, but why not try it? Okay. Makeup Revolutions is one of those brands people love to hate, but I mean, they have sometimes some really good hits in there. Like their eye base, that's not, it was very cheap though also. I think it was like eight or nine bucks. Whoa, I put way too much up there. Um, their scythe, their makeup super base, their eye, eye primer. I love that. I live on that. Okay. Um, just, 
Are you there, bronzer? Are you there? <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm filming late in the day, but can you even see that? <laughs> okay, which is okay because look, to, to mat it down, I got the NYX, this is the same formula, it's the Buttermelt Bronzer, and I got the color all about, all butted up. Look at how beautiful that is, gorgeous. And I thought this would be a fun way to dry up. The brush did not clean well. Okay. Oh, that went on a little too dry. You know what I'm thinking? <laughs> One of them smells kind of sunscreeny. I don't know. Let's see. Let's let that sit for a little bit. So far, I don't dislike it. I think it sat really well. I think it looks really good. It's a little dark over here, which is okay. We're gonna lighten that up with some powder in a minute. Um, so we'll see. Let me do my eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. All right, I'm putting on some eye primer. Eye primer. This is the Smash. This is the Milani eye primer and I'm a little frustrated with it. I've used it before, but all of that came out with one squeeze and that is like way too much. That's very annoying. All right, so what we're going to use is my friend gave me this Doritos. These are considered kid makeup, I guess. They're sold in the kid makeup. They had a Hot Cheetos. But I just thought, you know what, how fun. You know, I love Cool Ranch Doritos. And I thought, this is so silly. Let's make a look with it. All right, if you guys are up, let's do two looks. We'll do one for each eye. But look, I think this was like six bucks at Walmart. It might have been different, but it's in the it's at Walmart in the kid makeup section. A lot of times these are done by Makeup Revolution. I'm not sure who did this one. Um, it doesn't really say, but it's got eyeshadow safe to use. Uh, use eyeshadow applicator to apply eyeshadow for the palette, to eyelids, and create unique looks to remove. Yeah, so just standard. It's safe. Caution: Do not not to be eaten. Well, I feel like we shouldn't have to tell anybody that. I'm going to go into Cheesy, which is this puke yellow right there. So, all right. Let's, we're going to go ahead and kind of put that all across the top right here. So this will be our color on this side that we're going to use as our, our buffing color. Okay. <laughs> it is puke yellow. So I'm going to open up these blinds. The sun is going down, so we're going to see everything change a lot. But look how much different, better my makeup looks like that. I should have opened that from the beginning, sorry. Okay, so we just laid that all the way across. I'm going to wipe it off. And now I think let's go into these oranges. Let's go into this color right here. This is called Truly Tangy. The other day I saw a Flaming Hot Doritos one. Now I am worried about payoff. There's a lot of fallout, you know, but see that? Lots of fallout. All right, we're back in the Truly Tangy and we're kind of just, I'm going to change brushes because I think the, the problem with that might be that that brush is too floofy and I need something a little bit more so I can pat it down. It is not giving any color or barely any. So it would be great for a really light look. We'll be this will be our light look. <laughs> the cheesy kind of reminds me of the color of Dorito chips. They they move between this one and chip dust. This one right here. So all right, let's see. I'm gonna go in. I'm going to go now into that chip dust, this yellow, and I'm going to see if I can bring that, see if I can get that to put any color down across the lid. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's a fun palette. <laughs> it's a fun palette. That's what we're going to go with. And I had a thousand of these under eye, uh, that I, this would have been perfect. These under eye, um, under eye protectors that I could have used and, uh, Unfortunately, I have no idea where they are. Wow, see, I don't know if you can see that, it is even patching on the eye. It's, you know. But for a little girl, this would probably be a lot of fun. And I still think that we can make a really pretty look at it. 
I'm now gonna go into Snack Attack and try to darken up, but with my finger, look how pretty that is. There you go, there's a color. We can get it to stick and kind of have that darken up the, I'm making a mess here. So it is patching, but it's still quite beautiful. Okay, it's, uh, I'm gonna try to go in with the brush and see if I can make that do something else. It is just falling apart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo my under eye makeup. That's okay, that's okay. Now we're gonna go into Gold Bold, which is a goldy um, color. I don't know why everything is falling off my desk right now. I think it's because I'm night filming and I don't ever night film, I don't ever film in the evening i'm a film in the morning afternoon kind of girl because nights can be high and hard all right i want to do something really unique oh that's kind of fun this has two colors into it but i think what might be better is we're going to stick this one in the middle this oh god no i had gold on my finger okay this is another angle and we're going to just stick that straight in the middle as a shock color. <laughs> or not. It didn't even, can't even tell. There we go. I'm mixing it in with mouth watering and then another angle and I'm just kind of going in the middle just to give the eye some... <laughs> you know what, world? It's okay. It's okay. Everything can be saved when you're doing night makeup. Night makeup. Oh, this is hilarious. Okay. Okay, we're going to go in and keep touching up. So, yeah, it is it is what it is. It's okay. Okay, we're going to go in cooler than cool, which is this dark blue color, and see if I can make the middle. There we go. There we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. And now we'll go in with another angle and stick that on top of that to kind of give it something to, that gave it something to hold on to. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And now we're going in and just kind of buffing those two together. That's what we're trying to do anyway. I have a blue Ulta liner, let's use that. I have, so I have this awesome liner, auto liner. Oh no, this is LA Color Girl, LA Girl. And it's actually a pretty good liner. See, see, see? <laughs> I don't know if I'm trying to convince you guys or me that that's okay. Okay, let's do a blue eye on the other side. Let's see, let's see what we can do. And I will try to swatch this right now for y'all. I often say I'm gonna do things and then my little ADHD off camera. I don't remember, I'm so sorry. Okay, we're gonna go into that cooler than cool. And do that on this out corner. <laughs> do you see the I don't, I don't, I want it to stick, but not there. Where it's sticking is where I don't want it to. And it's not sticking where I want it to. It's okay. It's, it's a, there's this song. It's all right. It's okay. We will worry. We won't worry about tomorrow. Um, brings me back. It's a, I think it's a, yeah, it's a Christian song. Hello. Okay, what do we think? All right, now what I want to do is go into this yummy, which was that color I was going to use earlier, which is this two-tone silver beige, but of course, as soon as I get in, that silver's gone. So I'm going to go in and bring that into that blue. I'm going to say it. This is great kids makeup. Wow, that's actually pretty. Okay, I just want to be a jerk. So we're going to go into that same middle another angle and then we're going to kind of stick that right here and give that color something <laughs> it's 
called night makeup night makeup <laughs> Okay, all of these brushes are going to have to go downstairs and get washed. Okay, we're going to go back into that LA Girl, LA Colors, can't even remember what it's called. And it, the only problem is it keeps breaking, even from when I just used it. It's night makeup. Night makeup. I'm actually going to go in with that Go Gold, Go Bold, and add that here too. So it truly is like a Dorito. What do you think? Nope. Should have left it alone. Should have left it alone, Catherine. You should have left it alone. Let me fix my hair real quick. <laughs> okay. I think this is fixable. Where it's not fixable is that gold is pulling very yellow on camera. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna take Yummy, which is that more goldy pink, and we're gonna come in and mute that down because that is pulling a little too, <laughs> doesn't even face it. Oh, it does say go bold. It's a little bit better over here, okay, cool. So the problem is yellow and yellow and blue make green. So I'm starting to get a little green over there. It's it's cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, I'm gonna go in and just darken up this side. And I wanna kind of buff that out just a little bit. And we're gonna call that a look. No, we're not. I hate that. Okay, we're gonna go back into another angle. I think that's better, okay. Good googly moogly, all right, putting that on the floor. All right, there's a new mascara. So anyway, wah wah, that's okay. I'm gonna keep it forever. It's like the Jurassic Park makeup. You buy it because of what it is. We might be able to fix this in a minute, but we'll do it afterwards. So this is Call Me Queen by Essence. It's a new mascara, and I know nothing about it, but I thought we would try it. It was $4.99. I'm not a big fan of the Essence blue, green, and pink. I think the blue, green, and purple, their little three-pack. I actually have not liked any of those, but this, holy cow. And because this is only like $4.99, $5.99, if I had to rebuy it, as long as it doesn't, you know, fall off later, you know how a lot of times cheaper mascaras or end of the day you'll have the black fall off and smudge. If it doesn't do that, then I <laughs> I could see myself using it. Sorry, the more I look at that eye, I'm just like, what? What were you thinking with that look? But I think we can save it. I'm gonna show you how. Um, our God-given uh, makeup remover, which is our spit, and we're gonna clean up under the eye as best as possible. And I'm actually kind of going in right here and cleaning up some of the yellow, so it's not so bad. Now we're gonna go back in with the NYX, and this is where the brushes, we're gonna find out if the brush is worth its $22. Except for I do need to, I don't know where that thing went. see how this goes. The problem is, do you see all this blue right here? Blue is a lot like, um, uh, it's a lot like black. It's, it's in the sense of like, I'm gonna actually go in with some foundation, but the brush, um, you have to be careful because once it smudges, it's kind of hard to get rid of. You can balance it out with color correctors. Um, I don't really have any on hand with me right now to fix that. So we're just going to have a little bit of a blue tint eye and hope I can color correct that a little bit with some powder in a minute. Okay, actually, I really, 
REM brush, who knew? That's very nice. Okay, there's a brand called Catrice. We don't sell that. There's no, that's not sold anywhere near me. But I saw it and I've been looking for it. So I went on Amazon and I saw two things that I wanted to try right away. And then as I get more confident, I'll buy more. This is Catrice's highlighter in Beam Me Up. And this is what I think we can fix the eye with. Look at that. So look, this is what I'm thinking. If we stick that over that, see that and take some of that yellow out and kind of silver up some of that purple, that, that, I think that's huge. Okay, now we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna, yeah, oh gosh, that's so much better. Oh, thank God, okay, cool. Let me show you what else I bought by Catrice. So Catrice, I saw someone talk about this, the Magic Shaper uh, Face Cream Palette. I have gone into this a little bit because I've been trying out the Sunset Blush. So that, see how they gave me an orange and a pink? So this is what I think is interpreted as the Sunset Blush. You kind of stick an orange here, and then you stick a pink here, and then you stick a gold on top of it to kind of give it that sunset. So since we have a little bit of a... What's the point of brushes if all you're going to do your makeup, cat? So I'm going to do all of my makeup with my fingers. Good question. All right, so what you're going to do is you kind of... I'm going to smear both oranges in so that when I get to the pink, see how it kind of gives you a two-tone? And then you can take it up a step and do some gold highlight, which is, I use this, uh, this is Ari, uh, Rare Beauty's Mesmerize, which is gold. And then you go right here. It's supposed to give you kind of a sunset look. Let me think. I think I just look messy. <laughs> I'm just a hot mess is what's going on. Okay. What else did I buy that was new? Okay. I got this Milani color stain, now lip stain. Now I will say that I am silly and ended up giving away my new, um, I just bought the Ulta stain and I'm going to say I've been loving that, but I gave it away to someone. So this is the Milani lip stain in Mauve Mentality. It's color fetish hydrating lip stain. Um, and so I put it on earlier and I can kind of see that my lips still are kind of purpley. I'm curious where the lip stain is and because this really does go on kind of like a lipstick. So what we're going to do, let this sit on my lips for a few minutes and then see if it stains. But it's such a pretty color. Now the last thing I bought today, real quick, let me tell you something, sorry. I think this Catrice is almost equivalent of this Stick by LA Girl. Now, unfortunately, once you stick it on, it kind of blends in, but this already had the orange, gold, and pink in it. I'm not really sure how you keep them separate, but I will say the orange, like this line, was basically the, in this stick, so I think that's kind of interesting. But I really do like it. Now, the last thing I bought, and I bought this actually for because um, I wanted just a white powder. And this is the only one they had, like Morphe was out and everything. So the HD Studio Fix, I wanted to try it in white um, because I've had a lot of powders. I've got pinks, I've got, I, I, I'm still missing a purple, but I have pink and translucent and kind of a warm one. So let's put this white under the eye and see what happens. So this is supposed to give HD. Wow, that's very... Um, Powder. Oh, is that the powder? Something? Something is very, um, um, mm, um, like I feel like I have soap in my mouth. It's the lip stain. I was wondering what that was. Okay, it's the lip stain. Okay. 
I'm trying not to do that with the, sorry. So it's the lip stain. It tastes like, um, it tastes like pine salt. So, mm. that's fun. It's horribly, it's, it is so gross. I'm going to take this real quick and kind of clean up the edge, but it did definitely stain my lips. Now the last thing is this Essence Lip Oil. I got it in the, it's a, it's orange, hydrate, Hydra Blue uh, thing. And I thought the orange would be fun. They had all sorts of colors. But I just thought that was cool. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this hot mess. And let's do some finals. Okay, the e.l.f., the Power Grip Spray. Can I just say, I hate the way it smells. Okay. I hate the way the Milani tastes, but it did stain my lips. The lip oil, I can't tell if I'm gonna love it. It's oily, but I can't tell if I'm gonna love that because I'm overwhelmed by the taste. The NYX Pro Fix Stick, huge fan. I looked terrible because of the light and that white powder, and that's, I'm not surprised. If you look at Hollywood photos and you see them on the white carpet, this is exactly what you're seeing. You're seeing that we put white powder, it's it's white, and so what's happening is if we were to take a photo, I'd look like, they, it looks like they have cocaine. That That's, this is literally, you just saw me do that. I put too much white powder on, and so now, to set my face, so I should have done more of a yellow, so it's gonna create that, um, that cast. Um, I've been using this a couple times. I like it. I'm not sure. I like it and it was super cheap, but I'm not sure it's the greatest product on the market. I think there's a lot of other things out there that are better. Now this Space Gum Hollow Highlighter, I'm in love. I'm in love, I'm in love, in love, and it saved my makeup, which is great. The Buttermelt Bronzer, huge fan. I'm excited. I love the blush. I use it. So I think these two would probably sit on my desk in my everyday makeup. So love that. Um, where is the other blush we just used with that? Oh, the bronzing drops. I'm going to try it again. We'll do I'll do a short or maybe we'll have a little addendum because this has to, this has got to go in the edit rotation. And um, we'll talk about that a little bit more. I'm intrigued. I shooketh by this Call Me Queen Essence Mascara. I'm just so shook. And I'm very grateful for the gift. I'm going to keep it for the nostalgia, but I'm also going to put it away because, oh, goodness gracious, that is a that is a hot mess. So anyway, guys, I hope you know. <laughs> Thank you for joining me on this slightly chaotic but night makeup review of all the new makeup I just bought. And I hope you know that you are seen and you are loved. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.